You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant and the Lord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us our salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in him, rooted in him, and built upon him, and established in faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one captivates you with an empty, seductive philosophy, according to the tradition of men, according to the elemental powers of the world and not according to Christ. For in him dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, bodily, and you share in his fullness in him, who is the head of every principality and power. In him you were also circumcised with a circumcision not administered by hand, by stripping off the carnal body with the circumcision of Christ, you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross, despoiling the principalities and the powers. <coughs> he made a public spectacle of them, leading them away in triumph by it. The word of the Lord. A response or a son. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. I will extol you, O my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will, will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is compassionate The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Let your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The, the Lord is compassionate to all his works. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I chose you from the world that you may go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. 
And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground, a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judah and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and he healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. This morning in my prayer, as I came uh, upon this first reading, it's from Paul's letter to the Colossians, uh, chapter 2, verses 6 through 15. Uh, Paul said this, See to it that no one captivate you with an empty, seductive philosophy according to the tradition of men and not according to Christ. And that jumped out at me because it made me, in my mind, uh, think about those early settlers uh, who came into areas and who would build homes for themselves. You know, the first homes were probably little uh, log cabins. Just in my mind, that's what I imagined. And I thought about it this morning and I thought, you know, when they started to clear out the, little, the land and started to build their, 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 their cabin, it must have been very difficult for them if their saw and axe was dull. It would make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I thought about it further and I said, well, if the Holy Spirit, if we say our, our within us is a dwelling for the Holy Spirit, and if I put that same analogy to the Spirit, and I said the Spirit wants to come and build a dwelling within us, within our heart, is he having to operate with dull tools? Have we allowed ourselves to become a dull tool? And how so? By following the philosophies, the glitter of uh, what's happening now, the modern isms of today, have we started to focus so much on that that it has dulled our senses? And so I started asking myself, what is it that could dull my sense to the working of the Holy Spirit and to God in my life? Well, obviously, the first thing is I stop praying. I stop praying. Or I start to make work into my prayer. I think that, well, I don't need to pray. I can just do an activity. And I start focusing on the activities more than I do on the prayer itself. Uh, I read a line from Fulton J. Sheen that made a lot of sense. He said, you can have a $2 million building, in a, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee a $2 million faith. Have I started to allow activities to circumvent prayer, true prayer? And secondly, am I still trying to read and refresh my mind concerning what God teaches through it? our church. And if I'm not good with reading, if my eyes have grown dim at, with age, can I at least watch something? Not a, a program on the History Channel, God, no. Or AME or any things like that. But can I turn on like an EWTN program? Something to help grow my faith. And if I can't see it on cable, can I at least turn it on to the computer, on YouTube? There's a lot of great things out there. Have I tried to keep my tools sharp for God's Holy Spirit to work? Or have I allowed them to grow dull in time? Because it's very easy to do that. You know, the line between being a good person and being a bad person is very thin. And once we start one way or the other, it's very easy 
to continue going that way. It's so much harder once you started on one direction to stop and turn around and go back the other way. We'll leave it there. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>
unto you now and glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. And Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, O Savior. the Lamb of God, the old hymn who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not ready to take you to the end of my life, but I will stay the words of my soul shall be healed. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful the Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And be ye, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the divine powers, blessed in the devil, saved in all the evil spirits, who wander through this world, seeking to return our souls. Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy immaculate conception. Blessed be your holy assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, in the angels, and in the saints.